Blueface's alleged assailant in his recent gym attack is apparently about to get off scot-free as the rapper does not want to snitch. According to a report from TMZ on Tuesday, September 19, the L.A. County District Attorney's Office confirmed the case has been rejected due to the Thoshiana rapper's lack of cooperation with the investigation. The viral video that initially circulated of the attack doesn't clearly show everything necessary to bring a criminal case, so they are at a dead end. According to documents obtained by the publication, Blue refused to answer any of the responding officers' questions, would not provide his ID, and even rejected medical aid. As previously reported, Blueface was allegedly stabbed by 36-year-old Brandon Henry Snell, who was booked on charges of felony assault with a deadly weapon for his role in the melee after turning himself in. Blue shared footage of the incident on his Instagram story captured by the gym's security cameras shortly after the incident last month, which shows Snell pull up on him during a boxing session, threatening to kill him. The 36-year-old allegedly pulled out a knife and stabbed Blueface in the leg with his Rottweiler, watching it all unfold. Blue's trainer David Kaminsky said things got heated quickly because the attacker started yelling I'm gonna kill you to Blueface as soon as he entered the gym and saw him. He said the guy stabbed Blueface in the leg and then fled. Witnesses say he was in a black Tesla Model S. As a result of his injuries, Blueface was forced to postpone his upcoming boxing match against Salt Poppy, which was slated for October 14. The stalled case update arrives just days after the contents of the 911 call from the afternoon of the harrowing event came to light. TMZ obtained audio from the call on Saturday, September 16. The trainer, who was also the owner of the gym, made the call when he realized that the Thoshiana rapper had been stabbed. He stabbed my client, he can be heard saying on the phone. I'm with my son right now. Where? I don't know. It was just some random guy. I don't know. He's somewhere around the area. He's bleeding. Somebody sent help. The 911 dispatcher then tells the trainer to apply pressure to the area, referring to the stabbing area, because we're on our way. Thankfully, Blueface seemed to quickly recover from his injuries and has since been spending time with his newborn son, Krizian.